So, am I back? Yeah, I think I'm back. So I know it, you were saying it was still up, but like the the page for um, I think I'm bottom left. There we go. Uh, the pay like the window for my stream software was like blank, and like my hotkeys weren't working, so I wouldn't have been able to like mute or anything. So I just decided I'd restart it. Sorry about that. I think we're good now. I don't know why I did that. It's not a good sign. Anyway, no Giga spawned. Uh, but where was I? I? Oh, it was, um, like I said, I think it's a really cringe thing where it's just like, did I ever tell you the definition of insanity? And it's, it's, it is the definition of insanity. Why do people keep using it? It wasn't really that banger of a thing. Like it was, it was neat, I guess, you know, okay. Right? That, that was like the first major thing that like viralized out of it. Streaming software is still new software. That's pretty true. I mean, I, I've been using Twitch Studio Beta, so it's like Twitch's own thing. You think, you know, with the Amazon money behind them and the fact that this is their livelihood, they'd maybe have had their shit together, but I guess not. Is this my Fenrir Wolf? I think I might take that thing for a walk just for some XP in like a different realm or something. Um, is there a Fenrir wolf saddle? I don't think so. I'm gonna take Buddy for a walk. What could possibly go wrong? I haven't really used it since I got it. Get off my island. Sick jump, bro. Okay. Um, you know what? I can probably... That's not good. I can pro. Uh oh, I can probably just teleport. Uh, let's go with Asgard South. Hopefully, I don't die. I don't fucking know. Hello. Wolf. Not good moment. Please no dead, please no dead, please no dead. I'm here. Holy shit. This thing sucks? I thought this was supposed to be as good as a Rex. It's so weak. And it's like stun lockable. Who the fuck told me this was good? Dump that. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. 
Alright, I'm gonna disable the harvest. Uh, what level is that Rex? It's dead. Oh, there's an alpha here. Huh. Maybe that's why I'm not doing so spicy. That's not good. I kind of want to kill it. Holy, buddy just 108 me. 140. Those wolves are only good if you have a pack of three. No one gets alpha mod. Ah, oh, shit. Alright, so... Is that an alpha rex? No, it can't be because they would be boosted. This is different from the, the other wolf. These also get that. Like, there's dire wolves and then there's this, the Fenrir wolf. I wouldn't be surprised if they literally just copied that, but I didn't think they did. up and away all right if i do like that roar buff it's a little better okay um oh you know what these are those rune stones i was talking about they're used for summoning the bosses so like you need to get that in order to um in order to like progress basically there's things you can't do. I mean, you can't really fight any of the bosses. Cool about this kind of one. I, they probably are just the same. Like, this one just has a howl that buffs individuals instead of the pack. This is a, strictly a reward from beating the boss. But your, your confusion there, I mean, it's not really confusion. Your, um... You thinking that makes sense because it's literally just the same thing. Like, it's just a reskin with, like, maybe 20% larger... Yes, uh, you know what? Here, literally. These are actually kind of cool looking. You see, they're just slightly bigger. Otherwise, there's no difference. Well, that's not good. Didn't mean to throw my otter. Oh wow, 80 armor. That's pretty good. But I need the roar up. He has ice stuff, or is it you? Yeah, so... Basically, it's a, a mini version of the main boss called Fenrir Sulfur. And it has, um, actually... It has the same kind of attack where it, it freezes everything around it, but I don't think it gets the defense buff. So I get like a slight defense buff as well. Um, so it, it's part of the wolf. I can't do it without the, the wolf pussy. You know what I mean? The wolf pussy, if you will. Uh, there's also another boss that can do it though. It's um, I don't know which one, but there's two. It's like the same fight. It summons Haiti and Skull. In fact, I, I can probably just go do it here. It's a pretty easy fight. Uh, 
So they get summoned and one of them like burns you and the other one freezes you. As far as I'm aware, um... You can only get freezy boys. Like, you can't get the fire attack. I mean, it's cool from the perspective that it has, like, a special attack, but... I don't know, it's not really that unique, right? Like, as a creature, it's just a wolf. and more usable as a normal wolf. That's kind of true. Like, the other wolves, unless you have, like, three to five, they're not that great. Get another one. Can you breed them? I believe you can breed them, but you have to fight the main boss each time. You can't, like, tame them. So you, you would have to gather all the artifacts, fight all the bosses at least once. Which may or may not be a problem, um, depending on who you are. Uh, the bosses aren't that hard to fight for the, the Gamma versions, but after the Gamma version, I don't know how feasible most people will find fighting the bosses again. Basically, one of the bosses, the dragon, is in this from the other maps. And you have to fight that before you can fight the the main boss. And it requires Giga Hearts. And I haven't seen a single Giga. I fought one boss and I had a mind of this crap. Don't blame ya. I did want to complete all the boss fights. I've spent hours, like literal fucking hours, looking for a Giga. And that's just so- oh, that's not good. That's just so I can get, like, some to tame. Because I'm hoping that I can tame them and kill the kids. That sounds really fucked up. For Giga Hearts. Because otherwise, I don't know how else you can get enough Giga Hearts for, for the fight. Because you need one for the beta fight and two for the alpha fight. Still no fall damage if you don't sit on them. Yep. That's why I jumped off. I think if you wanted, you could, um, you could spam the inventory thing. I think that still works, too. That's a lot of alpha. Come on, buddy. I'm gonna try and lure him away so he doesn't get the damage buff from his friends. 
Yeah, it makes this a lot easier. Okay. See if I can do that again. Oh, fuck. Um, that's not good. So there were four in total there, huh? Okay. I should be able to take this one out here. Honestly, Buddy's kind of kicking on our ass, isn't he? Okay, we got him. Oh, wow. 4k damage from it. I'm gonna just sit here and heal for a sec. I knew you were. I knew he was gonna do it. I knew he was gonna do it to him. sit here and heal for a sec can I help you yo what a dick I'm surprised this will aggro this now, the only benefit to this mini is you kind of get some decent loot and also the rune stones go to the boss fights which give decent loot including 30 element per each mini boss so you can get element a lot faster on this map than any other boss as long as you kill alphas as you see them. Like normally the only way to get consistent uh, element is really just the boss fight. Like okay you could kill the um, kill the whatchamacallits for the powder and turn the powder into the shards and then the shards into the cheats or whatever. But that's excessive. So what is the amount of health I need to heal this thing for? Like 30 element per kill is actually pretty insane with how easy these bosses are to kill. The only, I guess, drawback is the, the world bosses require like an hour of wait time or something between fights but there's three of them and then there's the three main bosses and then there's like this map boss i'm surprised i as a player haven't leveled yet i've killed a lot of alphas so far Each Alpha Raptor I pick off there makes this so much easier. I did kind of almost die though. Which is not a good moment. Is that a Kendro? Was that Kendro like crab walking? What did I just see? All right, let's put our armor on. Can I hit that? And more than one HP left, so all is good. Okay, I guess they're not gonna aggro me. They went from fighting pig to fighting me, what the hell? Well, why is the pig joining in? This makes it so much harder. Thankfully, one of them was really low level.
Wait, did they finally make it so the Daydons consume their own food? Once they, like, while they're wild? I think they didn't used to do that. I, they used to be able to, like, infinitely heal, didn't they? Oh, I got a level. Holy shit. What do I put it in? What do I do? Stamina, I guess? Or no, probably just weight. Crafting skill? Doesn't matter, because I just tech rep everything. Probably weight. I can always respect, who cares? So I finally unlock some techie boys then. Wait, I can, I can just do this. Nope. Three more level, or two more levels now until that, right? Man, it took a long time. I'm gonna fight the boss, see what happens. Is there any food left here? So these, uh, these little Cretans fought the main boss as well as a mini boss here a lot. Uh, they took kind of a lot of damage. Some of them were pretty hurt from it. The, the main boss is apparently pretty strong. I just want to double check none of them are about to die. Oh, this Ute might be pretty squirting for hurting. Oh no. Looks like they're all 19 levels. Good for you, bud. Enjoy 19 levels in damage. Must have got the final hit on Fenrir Sulfur. The rich get richer, am I right? But he was already insanely high level. All right, they all don't look like they're bleeding to death. All right, come along. Let's go mess this schmuck up, shall we? This could be good loot. Probably not anything I actually need, but it could be. Oh my god. <laughs> but he's flying. Okay. It's not that far for this mini boss, so. Seems totally worth it to me. Plus, it should, in theory, give me decent player XP. I kind of wish the walk speed was a little better. My... I don't think I need all of them, but I might just double check to see if anyone got left behind. Honestly, I could probably solo this with a Rex. Or at least one of my Rexes here. Alright. Just hang out here. Oh my god, it's a train. That might be the most neat they've ever been aligned. All right, I'm gonna just go back and check to see if I left any behind. Oh, there's a trail of poop. I'll just follow the trail of poop. Yeah. 
not want to do this with a nearly dead wolf. Oh, it'll be fine. You'll see. You'll see. The wolf won't even get touched. This is like a, maybe a two minute fight. And that's only because there's two of them. This is the easiest boss fight in the game. It's a mini boss, I guess, but it's like by far the easiest. So it's going to summon a boss on either side there. Skull has been defeated. That's a one out of two. And just like that, all done. The real hard part is figuring out which one's got the goodies on them. Well, okay. Exactly. If I'm lucky, it'll be in here. Oh, excellent. Turns out I'm lucky. In here? Cool. Even, oh my god. Mastercraft mining drill? That's actually really good. I don't think I've ever gotten a mining drill that was like not crafted, I guess. I don't know. I've just never gotten a mining drill. And just like that, buddy said, what is this? Meat pack, that's disgusting. What does it do? Huh. Okay. It's honestly a, such an easy fight. It's kind of broken because most of these Rexes had over 1k damage before I ever even had to fight the highest tier of boss. Oh, this one took some damage. Look at that. Actually, it might have just not been full health. But all you need is like maybe 10 high-end Rexes to fight this. I have 20 here because I knew I was going to use them to fight the final boss too. But it's like, it's, it's such an easy fight. The final boss isn't that hard either. Actually, the hardest two fights I had were, there's another world boss called Steinbjorn. Probably the hardest boss fight in the whole game. Um... And then another one called, uh, well actually, you've probably heard of it, it's the dragon. The dragon's hard, not necessarily because it's that good, it's just that it flies for like 5 minutes straight shooting at you. So it gets like free 10k damage in. It's more annoying than it is difficult. But Steinbjorn is a, honestly it's a bear with like this. It's got like that rock armor on it. And uh, it gets a lot better reduction than I do. I, I think I think I'm getting like 60%. It gets 90% reduction. You literally do 10% total damage. The same quality of Rexes I brought into the fight with it. I think I had like 15, so a, a little less. Uh, died. They all died. They did 40 damage a bite. 
absolutely destroyed. I don't want the, um, I want the meat, but I don't want, like, the arrows and shit they give me. Honestly, I don't think I need meat anymore after that one bite. I actually haven't even beat Stein- oh, fuck, that's a cool-looking arch. Can I help you, ma'am? I haven't even beat Steinbjorn, like, legit legit. You can cheese it by putting, um, something called a Velanosaur on top of a ledge and shoot down at it. it takes about 10 minutes to kill it that way but it's the only way to bypass its armor without a giga otherwise you'd need to throw like 30 rexes at it to ensure easy kills because like my 15 high tier rexes uh had it down to maybe like 10 percent health left so like more rexes would have won but they also all died at about that level so you know they probably if they had won would have had like 2k health left oh that's right i'm like why aren't i getting my stamina back i think i should go offload this inventory I just hear it Oh fuck. What did I hear? That was utterly terrifying by the way. Buddy. I think I'll let Buddy heal a little bit. Okay. Got to bring it home still. These are my Rexes for fighting uh, the bosses here. I think the dragon kicked their ass. It looks like they're still kind of hurt from it. Huh. Can I just swim this? I probably shouldn't have risked this. I should have just potted. Played only without boss fights because I find them ridiculous, but I cheese the hell out of the game, especially at the beginning. Mm hmm. I don't. I don't really know of any real cheese for like early game. Well, I guess if you're like up on a cliff before you can like build traps or something to tame some stuff. I don't know if that's cheesing at that point. That's more like taking advantage. That's more like taking advantage of the terrain. Okay. I'm going to get rid of this junk while Buddy heals up. Um, and then I guess I'm going to fly around and look for a Giga again.
It's the only way I can fight more boss. I I'm I'm probably done if I don't uh, if I don't yeah find a boss by the end of this week. Like there's no point. I mean, I should be able to mess with, like, the, the tech stuff by then and, like, have some fun with it. So, like, there's no point in me just, like, clinging to whatever this game is trying to be. You can only beg for scraps for so long before you just want to move on. I don't think I have either of those. I might have a carbon. Oh, I don't. Unfortunately, I can't even get all the tech recipes either since I can't fight one of the bosses, so... Well, I mean, not on harder difficulty to unlock new recipes, I should say. I mean, I could technically fight any of the bosses any time. It's the difficulty level that's the problem. Yeah, I guess I'll keep that on me. How heavy is that? Yeah, it's not that heavy. I'll keep that on me for the sword. Um... I think I'll wyvern it. Just because it's faster and it's actually daytime. How long will it be daytime for? Huh. Should be nighttime. Shouldn't it? What the fuck time is 1900? Am I tripping? Isn't that like 9 p.m.? Hello? I don't know math. Maybe it's one of those 24-7 bright areas, I guess, even though it's never been before. Weird. Weird. Weird champ. Okay, what do we got going on down here? Who would have guessed the exact same creatures as before? And wow, no giga. And my dodicara still ain't doing shit. What if I like moved it over to here or something? Want to do something for me, buddy? Oh, shit. Oh, there's a magma sword up there. I have to help it because it just became overweight. All right, let me um, dump its inventory because it's a schmuck. Hold up, hold up, buddy, hold up. God damn it. Oh, this is so frustrating. That should have done it. I kind of want to see... I'm overheating? What? I kind of want to see if it can kill that Magmasaur. 
I left it here in the hopes that since it's like got crazy stats for a Dodicarus anyway, that it wouldn't be able to kill a, a Giga, but it would like maybe leave the area somewhat loaded in. But it should be able to kill just about anything else. I'm done with Ark for good. But I see why it's fun for other people. I like Conan Exiles more. It's more fun. Avatars look better. Harder because there are the, not those ridiculous creatures in it. And you can still play it on official servers. Almost. You only find great people there. Not like Ark can get pushed off by idiots. Yeah, you, you literally can't play Ark on official servers. It's a... Uh, it's a private server only thing and a lot of the private servers are about like money like they you know they only you can only get like the the best dinosaurs by giving them some money i know there's like some legit ones out there but there's also like the the toxic players and shit I don't know. I mean, I kind of enjoy it solo anyway. There's just like something satisfying about, especially the early game, being able to survive in such like a hostile environment where everything is trying to kill you. I know some good servers, but I like to kill people. Free loot? Wow. Ooh, a new Bronto? Oh no, that's a Diplodocus, never mind. This is one of three. So the volcano right here and where I'm going next are the only three like tiny tiles. Like they're very small zones where a Giga can spawn. And I have tried wiping the areas. I have tried sitting in them for like 30 minutes. I've tried like hanging out near them. And now I'm trying not wiping them and just leaving stuff and like checking for them. And I've done it for like three weeks straight. And, you know, maybe like once or twice every hour looking for them. Oh, an Alpha Rex. That's new. But he's probably pretty close to dying. Isn't killing everything the way to spawn stuff. You know what? I thought so too, but it wasn't working for me. Um, so I basically like late last week, I ended up trying to look into this and, um, Huh, I guess it just didn't have any loot for me. So I couldn't really find too much uh, that like, other than people just saying they'll spawn. But I did see some people saying that Gigas have their own spawn table, which means that, so like there's a river there, for example, that a bunch of fish are, are always spawning in. Allegedly fish, land creatures and gigas all have separate spawn tables like they all spawn from separate like percentage chances so it shouldn't matter whether or not there's a fish where the the giga is oh that bronto is new 
However, in my experience, yes, killing things does spawn new things. Um, also, in my experience, though, if you kill too much, it like ends up getting cleared and like nothing spawns there at all. But you know what? This is just like someone off of I think it was like fucking Reddit. And then I also saw the same thing, I think, on, like, the Steam forum, like, for people saying basically something really similar. So, you know, it's players saying these things, and I'm just, like, looking for answers. So I figured I'd try this, because I was under the impression that wiping things would help, too. But, I mean, it hasn't yet, so I thought I'd try something new. What do I really have to lose? I mean, right here specifically, apparently, is the only area that the Giga can spawn over here. So it's basically like three small tiles across the whole map that they can spawn in. And I haven't seen a single one in... Well, in all, I think, over 100 hours on this map. And then, like, if you want to go kind of more specific, probably the past, like, 30 hours I've been specifically looking. Probably more than 30 hours, to be honest. Probably more like 45 hours. They know people these days know how to play. So they made the Gigas very rare to improve your play time. Yeah. I was looking for them at first for... Um, the, the boss, I, if you recall, I mentioned Steinbjorn. Uh, because Gigas apparently do full damage, and you can actually fight them with it. It's not like an arena. It summons them to the map, the way the, the two wolves I killed were summoned. So you can actually fight that boss, or any of the world bosses here, that same way, since it's not an arena summon. And it, the Gigas are super useful, and they don't, like I said, the Gigas don't get that 90% damage reduction. So I thought they'd be useful, but obviously that's a huge problem. I didn't get them, and I ended up just cheesing it, like I said, with Velanosaur shooting it from a ledge. Um, but I still turned out to need them because of the version of the boss, which hasn't spawned. You know, the Giga, you need to get Giga hearts, basically, and they haven't spawned, so I haven't gotten them. Is that Shrek? Huh. That's why I said earlier, if I can't find Gigas this week, I'm just going to give up because I've been actually looking for a long time. And I need two, so, you know, even finding just one isn't going to be enough. I, one would give me hope to go for a little longer, but, you know, just finding one doesn't do anything for me. I need two because I need to be able to breed them because I... I need them, hopefully, because breeding lets me kill them for Giga Hearts. I'm not even sure if that works, actually. Because I need at least three Giga Hearts to fight the bosses on at least every mode, like, once. But again, there's no guarantee that even works. I don't know if you can actually get a Giga Heart from, from bread kills. That would probably be too easy, so I'm actually guessing you can. It's just I, I don't have any other options. Right, because I'm not going to kill the first one I see because, you know, the first two I see actually because, you know, what what if that did work? I need to test for breeding. I think I'm lagging a little bit here. There's also no guarantee if I kill a Giga, I'll even get the heart. You don't always get the trophy.
I used to have trouble getting Allosaur brains and Sarko skins on other maps, so. Could be very not good. I'm going to backtrack the way I like came. So I'm going back to the the next Giga spawn, which was over here. And then I'll go back to, I think, like right here. And then I'll go back home, which should be like right there. I don't really think it'll have spawned between then, but... Is that, is that a unicorn? Doesn't look like it has stripes, but it also doesn't look like it has a horn. No, it's just a necklace. Okay. And yes, those are the only places they can spawn. I also looked into um, changing spawn rates. It, it was just too... I didn't get it. It said I needed to mess with like a, an any file. I couldn't find it. I could only find like my default files and I didn't want to mess with anything that I like. If I wasn't 100% sure, I, I think you might know my history with this game and like crashes and not being able to load files and corrupt files i didn't want to risk it so unless i knew exactly what i was doing and i couldn't find what i was looking for so i gave up on that i was thinking like for every day i didn't find it i'd up like the chance that a giga could spawn by one percent but like i said didn't happen couldn't couldn't figure it out without risking file corruption wasn't worth it and I do know I could just spawn them in, but I don't know. At that point, I could just spawn in the Giga Hearts instead. So I can at least just fight the boss. That would, you know, be less cheaty because then, you know, I wouldn't have infinite Gigas. There's always something with this game, it feels like. I remember what files, but I only think it's a long time ago. I won't say anything. So uh, I did find some things, and I guess some of it's outdated. So it might be outdated. I mean, you can always tell me and I'll look into it. But there was like one bit of advice that was like really outdated. And I guess they like changed the, the locations of files and changed names. And there's also like a lot of stuff for like servers. I guess it's easier to do on like server launchers because you can like set it up from the get go. I did have like 15, I think 15 or so Rexes. Um, top left, you'll maybe see it says Bela there. That's one of the world bosses. She's in a cave, she's a bee. And I left my Rexes in there because I was just gonna keep fighting her with the same Rexes and they despawned. Like they fell through the cave floor or something. I was thinking like, maybe I could summon in like two level five Gigas you know for justice because i lost those but i also like i don't know it's just like g getting to the point where summoning is like my solution just feels like i i've given up either way so like what's the point it's just not the same to me same problems a few times i played on my own trying to mess with the spawns get rid of the pvp only dinos oh yeah the birds, yeah, the ichthy, uh, the ichthyornis or whatever, and then the little pegamastics and the trudons, little shits. Right here is like the only other spot gigas can spawn, and I think they're X gigas or R gigas or something. But it doesn't look like we got any here. I'm gonna watch that Dodicarus go to town on this. Uh, They're interesting that it's not attacking the Dodicarus. Oh, it's a super high level.
I wonder why it won't fight it. Buddy's pissed. Oh my god, it won. <sighs> but I've had way too many, like, corrupt files to, like, risk something I'm just not knowledgeable of. And then... I've had it happen, like, like issues with, like, every single map now that I, like, really think about it. Right? I, I lost my Ragnarok and Island to corrupt files. Um... What, what did I play next? I think Crystal Isles I lost to Corrupt Files, sort of. I did get that one back, but it was after a year. It took them a year to fix the problem with the launch. Like, something was preventing it from launching because there was, like, an update and it corrupted any old save files. They fixed it a year later, but I just decided to start Valgaro, I think, at that point. Ragnarok you loved. Yeah, Ragnarok was pretty neat. Tons of gigas on that map. But um, I just decided to go to Valgaro. Valgaro, I had Sarkos not spawning. Uh, like, they were super rare. And then uh, one of the artifacts never respawned. Actually, two of the artifacts never respawned. Like, at all. I had to spawn them in. Uh, I, I did get one boss fight in. And I just, like, kept going back after, like, nine hours of trying. I just gave up, spawned it in, and like called it a series. And then Lost Island, I think... I forgot why I kind of stopped playing Lost Island. You know what? Lost Island might be the only map I didn't get scuffed up. Hated the way they spawned in dinos, like one kind here, another kind here, and so on. I feel like for Ragnarok, when I played it, it was... The spawns were kind of scuffed. It's similar with, um, what's, uh, Crystal Isles, like, things would kind of spawn not where they could or should, I guess. So, like, um, like, super shallow water would have a Tusotuthis in it. And, like, you couldn't move it anywhere. It was just, like, stuck in, like, a, a pond. Let me get some gas. I kind of want to try this out. I don't know that this does anything for me. I do remember a lot of gigas on that map. I also remember not being able to tame like a 150. And I couldn't figure out why. I, I guess I was just missing too many arrows or something. Or not arrows, uh, darts, but... I remember, like, flying in circles for, like, an hour and a half, wasting over 300 shocking trank darts and, like, an extra 100 plane darts because I just, like, started using whatever I could get. And just never getting it. Do I get faster gather rate with this it doesn't really feel any different do i get more weight reduction no what's the point of higher tier damage on a on a mining drill then it looks like it's maybe smoking more <laughs> what why is it smoking so much? What the fuck? This thing's about to bust. I don't know mining drills at all. You know what? That makes sense. It's on the newer side.
Okay, I think I need crystal if I want to make any, like, tech stuff. I need Black Pearl, too. Polymer I can get by just killing Krakino, so that's not really an issue. Okay, I guess I'll go get some Crystal real quick. I think this one has higher weight. What the fuck was this? Oh, the creature? This is a gas bag. I think it's from Genesis? Whatever the, I think the space map is. So it can suck in gas. Oh, you know what? It might be aberration actually. And it can float. <laughs> oh shit, I didn't know they took fall damage. Oh my god, I almost just killed it. I'm a butterfly. I think Buddy might be closer to the worm. I think I would have lost that fight if I stayed. I gotta do it this way. Maybe one more shot. You know, I would have assumed this thing would be really good at uh, swimming. Like, shouldn't it just float automatically? It's so weak. It's a little hard to handle. Alright, let's get off of it. I almost killed it. Maybe some more health then. Uh, anyway, let's go gather some... Some stony boys. I mean, not stone. Crystal. There's a few ways to gather crystal, obviously. I'm going for like the safest kind of fast route. I only need like a couple hundred to test some recipes, so. Maybe one of the net full things. I'm good for uh, having it. Hmm. Buddy. I need it. I need it, Sandy. Uh oh. Oh, the creatures are actually in here. One time I just want to go in and gather resources and they're all in here.
I think I'll be fine as long as I don't mess with the roll rats. I mean, they're not really a threat. I just don't want to deal with them. Goat? Goat? Okay. Oh, I got element shard. All right, so that's what it was. I'll go ahead and toss that because I don't really think I need it. Um, I probably don't need a lot of condensed gas either. I'm gonna try to just focus on the crystal. If this thing could get out of my way, that'd be great. Just do that to me, buddy. Um, there we go. It literally just did what I just told it not to. I don't understand. I don't really need the condensed gas, I have a ton. It turns into um, congealed gas. That might be too much. Oh, the green gems disappeared. Okay. Yeah, it looks like that was too much. Um. I don't think I get any weight reduction. I think I'll have to dump that in that. Does that make me light enough? It doesn't. It's a bit of a surprise. Guess we'll dump a whole hundo. Neat. I think I'm lagging. Why am I still so heavy? Doesn't add up, right? Ah, oh, the lag. Yo. Let's go time, boys. should help quite a bit. Oh, that's laggy. No. Thank you. Okay, I think now I need black pearl. Was it? Actually, I, do I need Black Pearl for any of the stuff I want to make? I want to make the drop ridge. That's not it. This is it. Okay, I don't need it for that. Extendable force bridge. I need polymer for that. But I do need it for the tech leggings. I don't really know if this is like actually worth making.
Alright, I guess I'll go grab some. God damn it. Are you serious? Alright. I do kind of have to be careful because I don't think I can one flight this. I have to like make a pit stop in the water. And there's a lot of jellyfish here. The sharks aren't a huge issue because I can just jump again, but if I land on a jellyfish or if one makes it to me in time, I'll get bucked and then we both die because they'll just stun lock us. I also have to be careful because there's invisible lava here that will insta-kill me, the rider. Which will then leave Buddy to just sit in the lava and die. And then there's also... Um... Magmasaurs. Huh. Okay. There's also Magmasaurs. Level 55, but there's no wyverns here. And they can kill the rider, so that's a that's a problem as well. Can I get this please? I believe all that deep stuff in the center is lava, but it's just invisible. Yep, there it is. Okay. I don't know why it's like it loads in and out, but I have died to it and had to recover my stuff. It's devastating. It's very difficult to get, I have to respec. Otherwise I can't like grab it. Maybe I can grab it here, there we go. Like you die instantly, it does 200 damage a tick. So you have like two seconds to grab stuff. God damn it. Not sure why I just took damage there. need one I have tons but I was just curious yep there's the invisible lava and the stuff I built to recover my stuff from it I should be able to drink some tasty water here 
I never really grabbed this, did I? Since I'm just collecting runestones at this point, I might as well. Is that mine? Oh, that's my level up. Excellent. You got to be pretty careful in here, unfortunately. It was blocking the exit, it had to happen. Absolutely had to kill that thing. I might have to leave though. My God. Um. Okay, right there's the black pearls that I need. There's so many it lags when I look at them. Level is this? God damn it. What level are you? God damn it. I have to fight it. I gotta go. I have to leave. Um, it just gave me mega rabies. I'm dying from that and uh, from heat. I will die if I stay in here. Oh, that that's where the rock elementals are. Come on. I don't know if you can tame that. Oh, that was like the worst case scenario there that that stupid bat would see me. Of all the things that could have happened there, Bat was not like even top five concerns. I got, what, 80? I think I got like 80. That's not really enough for anything. Oh, not the lag. I'm not dying from heat anymore, so I should be fine because I can have another healthy boy. 
and I should it should stop going down before we even reach a hundred so oh man well first try 48 I didn't even get 80 fuck me oh that's not good I don't even know if that's enough for any recipes Heck. Can't make either of the saddles. I already have the sword. Can't make the legs. Can't make the arms. Can't really go back in there until I'm full health again. Maybe I'll try again later. There's kind of a lot down there. I'm not sure how to deal with that. Because it's, it's, there's so many, it's lagging. That's kind of a concern as well. It's not a huge concern, but it's unpleasant. I think I might have enough left over from like last time I got some that this 48 can get me maybe like the legs or something. First, 48. Waited for arc 2. As it seems, it gets programmed the same way. Absolutely not optimized like arc. And with the fucking Vin Diesel. <laughs> they can keep this shit. I don't know what this, like, Vin Diesel shit's all about. I don't... I. I don't get it. I don't I don't know. I don't understand. Like what what is it? Like did they just completely remove the core like of the game and make it like a I guess a um RPG or something or like a an open world thing where it's quests marketing fuckery why did they pick Vin Diesel though? Like he has nothing to do with the game. I don't understand. Like did I miss something? Why him? Is he like a dev? Or is he like one of the devs uncle or something? What am I missing? Yeah, well, <laughs> Russians. I, I just don't get it. Like, I could maybe see it if this was, like, some sort of car game because of, like, the reputation of Fast and Furious. But even then, I feel like I would not want, like, the association because he's, like, so associated with that one franchise. So I need Paul lemurs. Okay. Uh, let's get some Scooby Dooby Doo gear out. I'll just take the goods. If you know about Russians, they do their own stuff and you can't explain it. I think Vin Diesel plays Ark, but what if I care? Never met him, and if I would have done everything to cheese him out. Thanks, server. Oh, jeez. So, so Vin Diesel is an Ark dude. Okay. You know what I get? Oh, fuck. I just ate a mushroom. Um. Very not good. I should have left my armor back at the thing. Whatever. Uh, what are you at? You on... I need it on for this stuff anyway. <sighs> I 
I've heard like a lot of different rumors about the um, Arc 2 that it's like strictly uh, strictly third person so there's no first person is one thing I've heard which I know I'll do like third person for dino riding or something and sometimes like to corner peak all first person but I, I feel like that really takes away from like the immersion right? And I've heard it's basically just arc one, but not good. <laughs> like, how, I don't know how you know, but it's like, I guess the same thing, but just not, not any better is how I should put it. Like, they're just going to reuse assets and stuff, or at least that's what it looks like. I really don't know. Alright, that's definitely enough stuff. That's like 1200 polymers. I figure I'll wait till it's fully out and... I don't, I don't know if it's gonna be one of those games where I'm, you know, more graphics that means you need a terabyte instead of the 500 yeah this game is massive yeah I like I, I always want games to succeed so it kind of sucks to think that I just don't really I don't think they got it you know I mean to be honest I really don't think they've done that great with most of the DLC you know because they're literally just stealing well they're not stealing but you know what I mean they're just taking pre-made maps that like mod makers made and making them official I mean just look at this look at this map this DLC is it bad no but the thing is it's not particularly unique right it just borrows ideas from other maps and all what is there for all four new creatures are basically reskins right the fenrir wolf is just a larger dire wolf the fjord hawk is just a vulture and it's like a tiny argentavis if you want to like put it visually the the andrew sarkis is just like an elongated dadon and uh, what's the final thing? There's one more thing I think they added. Oh, the Desmodus. I mean, it's literally just an Onik, but bigger, and you can ride it. Absolutely not optimizing as shit graphics still. And tell the mod makers, fuck you, we take your map. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they took a, I mean, I, I don't know. I would assume they have to compensate the mod, mod makers some way. So much polymer. Yeah, I'm going to make some tech stuff, hopefully. So I, I went to get some polymers. But I would assume they have to compensate, like, in some way, the, the mod makers. There's no way they just, like, steal their stuff and don't give them even a cent. Like, they have to give them something. I mean, unless their argument is, like, for example, this map, I think, is a bunch of Skyrim maps or something. Like, I'm pretty sure they stole, like, a lot of the Skyrim caves, for example. Like, they're exact copies. Um, and, like, Lost Island was one of the, I think, Skyrim maps. I think it was, like, Ob Oblivion or something. So, unless they're arguing, well, you didn't create the map itself anyway, you just, like, rendered it into our game using our assets. I, I don't know. But, like, so, uh, so much of, like, their, the new creatures are just... I mean, the Desmodus is arguably the most unique. But it's not really that unique. I mean, we had bats, it's just that we can ride them now. And before this, what did Lost Island add? The Dinopithecus? I think sucks. I hate it. Really hard to kill, kind of suck to tame. And that was it, wasn't it? Oh no, the Sonoma Crops. You know what, excuse me, the Sonoma Crops is actually pretty good, but... 
you know, that's about it. A lot of the new stuff also hasn't been like real. You know what I mean? Like, why don't we get new dinosaurs? Why is it like wyverns and griffins and. You know? Fantasy wolf thing. With ice attack. I mean, they're cool. But I want. I want play dino game. I don't know. I feel like two might be a bust. I feel like they're just gonna. It's gonna be like just getting a new map that's my suspicion because what can they really do to like make it that unique okay i guess i'll make the legos i don't know that that does anything for me can i make the handos too no right yeah i'm out um Oh, I should save up. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter because I can't make the tech gen. Oh, wait, I can't even make that. I don't have the recipe. So how many of these do I need? Oh, fuck, I fell. 50% of the dinos in this game have never existed. The rest is, well, kind of wrong this way. It's okay, I think. Half of the dinos not existing is what made me get mad. Who we? Oh, that's not good. Oh. Okay. How does this work? I never put doors on this. Wait. I think I have an even better idea. Is this going to connect to that? Shame those big turtles. Yeah, I got one. It was a huge pain in the ass. Oh. <laughs> oh, is this fucking small dick bridge? Okay. It was probably one of the most complicated things I had to pull off. I'm guessing this is just too far. Poidal. There was tons of alphas in the area and the, the what are they called? Parakeet School of Fish. We're just not giving me an easy time. Okay. 
I think what I might do is try and like snap to something for this. That's pretty neat though, right? I think I'll need a foundation. Oh shit. Um, yeah, I'll need a foundation to force this snap and then maybe... Actually, it's probably gonna be obstructed still, huh? Well, I might be able to snap off of that still. I can maybe figure something out. But that'll allow me to like more easily transfer things instead of having to swim them back. It kind of sucks that like one of the biggest, most convenient things is like end game. Like I have to have beaten at least like one tier of boss. Cause it's like at this point it doesn't matter. Like, everything in terms of dinos is where it needs to be. This is like a huge convenience thing, but it's like... I don't need that convenience anymore. It's now an aesthetic thing because I'm past this stage of wanting that. You know what? I can probably just get away with like a metal foundation. Do I have any? I do. And I'll use that for snappings. They call me the snapping turtle. Who's they, you ask? Same. Wish they'd stop talking about me. How did I just pick this up? This has been placed for like... For like a month. How did I pick that up? What? Huh? I'm super confused. I'm here. Fuck is this thing? This is an enforcer. It's actually a tech creature. Those are some bangers. <laughs> um, so is it a recipe? Okay. I can't show it here. It's like a default recipe. There's a there's the enforcer, there's a scout, and they're they're like drones that you can like control. It's actually kind of cool, all things considered. It's basically a robot. You can't actually swim with it. Like, it's it's cool, but it's also kind of whack, if you think about it. I know that's a little fucked up, but... Oh, fuck, that's lagging. Okay. Um. So here's the center. Can I snap off of that? I can't. What if I do this? No. Okay, hold up. So if I do that, can I do this? Really? This is having the opposite effect of what I thought it would do. Can I do this? Shit. All right. Well, that didn't work. Fuck. 
Okay. Why won't this work? Oh, because I have that in the way. How's that? Neat. Means I can take this back. Jump pads? Oh, I love jump pads. Teleportation. So yeah, this thing can't swim. So uh, it walks on the bottom of the water. Neat. There's probably a cheaper way than what I've done here to uh, get across the water. But oh, I didn't get my teleportation in. But uh, that, that was the best I could figure the fuck out. Also, they use t uh, tech. They use element uh, instead of food. So uh, if you like run out of element out in the wild, buddy will die. It'll just like not work. So let's go ahead and look at this. If I element that out. Um, is it the chest piece that has the, the jetpack in it? Broken moonwalk underwater. What do, what do the Legos, Legos do? The boots get rid of fall damage, right? These increase your running speed, is that it? Or maybe the legs reduce fall damage. Ah, okay. So they help you fly fast. So I don't need these yet because I don't have that recipe. And actually, I can't ever get that recipe. I mean, I can in theory, but... Um, I don't know if you've been here when I talked about it. You need Giga Hearts for the next stage of boss fight. And I don't have even a single Giga on my entire map here, so you might imagine that's a problem for me. Believe it or not, it ain't easy being measy. Let's go and throw that in there. I guess I'm going to go fly around at night, maybe look for some Gigas. I'll use night vision. the only possible thing you know make you run fast as well but I don't know what the button oh so it's a you have to activate okay maybe it would have been worth it to keep them on night vision is this what Deadpool sees get it cuz that's his colors oh my god wild wyvern psych it's fine Oh my god, buddy's gonna go fucking take a dip in the lava. The liquid hot magma. Okay. We're looking for Giganotosaurus. What the fuck is that? That's not good. That's not good. That's very not good. Oh my god. Okay. Well, it's just died. All right, it looks like there's nothing in there, so I'm not sure sure why it's a different color. Those are two Rexes. Almost had me in the first round. 
ブラスコンつけに行ってやったアージェンテイヴィスディニースキャップン Nothing here. Is this my Dodicarus? Yes, it is. Couldn't help but notice you're not doing anything, buddy. This is the only spot where I believe X, or is it our, our Giganotosaurus can spawn. Is this what a bat sees at night? Her chance. I think that's what it's supposed to be. I don't know if this is what it actually is, you know? It's what Daredevil sees. But he's just living his best life on the beach. Dimetrodon. Shark! I don't think I need to land for Stam, but I will. How many Vita Hearts do you need? Um. So, I'm assuming that was supposed to be Giga and autocorrect just screwed ya. You need one to fight Beta, and two to fight Alpha. So you need three total. I fought Gamma. You don't need a an, a Giga Heart for Gamma. Vitaminosaurus, oh my god. But he's gonna get the vitamin D. Oh, an alpha. Alpha, can anybody? Wish my name was anybody. reach I feel like doing this at night's a pretty good way because like you can see such a huge body of heat so easily oh my god that f it's a diplodocus that had me so steezed for a second that there was heat down there and it was like kind of its body size and I couldn't see the bottom half I just got scammed this is one of only three total spots where any type of Giga can spawn. None here. To the next spot. What are you going to do if you find one? Kill it or tame it? I, I mean, maybe you know if this works or not, but the plan was to tame it in the hopes that I can tame a second one opposite gender, breed them, and kill the kids by not claiming them and leaving them in like a box that I raise them in. Kill all dinos around it. Does that work? Because I was reading that it doesn't matter, but I'm down to just do it again. Because I've done it dozens of times. I've literally done this for over like 100 hours, so. I've killed, I've wiped the areas completely. I've left some things. I've only killed ground creatures. I've wiped out ponds like filled with fish. I've done everything. And, uh, you know, when looking for commands on how to not do it, um, like uh, two, at least two things I read said they have their own spawn locations. So fish shouldn't matter, but... It really feels like killing stuff is usually the way to do things. I mean, even if it doesn't work, killing stuff is kind of therapeutic, right? Been lied to all these years. I mean, I thought it did too. This whole time, I thought it did. I've been wiping these areas to the point that nothing was even at this next one I'm about to go to. Like, literally nothing had been spawning there. Until I, like, recently stopped i actually even upped my spawn rate to 10 times to try this for a little while 
Uh, I'm back down at three because, quite frankly, um, it makes me lag. I need to fucking spend like three grand on my PC to not lag in ten times. I don't even know if that's enough, to be honest. Uh, but, oh, uh, large heat body had me steezed. Like, look at all these fish. I had been, like, going up and down this, this is like, um, like a river, like a canyon river. I had been going up and down it with my wyvern, just, like, killing them all. And right over here is the final spot that Gigas can spawn, right where this, like, ram is, Avi. So I've been killing them thinking that cleared it up, but I mean it hasn't made a difference for me. It could also just be that like my shit's bugged, right? I mean it wouldn't be the first time this game had some sort of issue with whatever. There's also like a, a cave here that spawns tons of bears for some reason. I've tried wiping it many times with like no success getting something else to spawn. I just don't know. Makes sense because things can't overpopulate, so if you kill stuff, there's a chance for it to spawn, but I don't know. I mean, that's what I always thought, too. And I had been working under that until, like, just the end of last week. Pretty much, like, Thursday or Friday, I think, is when I read that. Um, and I'd just been killing everything. I just thought I'd try this, but it, this clearly isn't working either, because I've done... What, Saturday I did this. I think Monday I did this. I think I tried to do it uh, Sunday, but my internet died, and today I've done it. So that's at least like 12 hours of me pretty consistently checking, you know, with plenty of time in between like visits and like hanging out in areas for them to spawn. I've been told that they can spawn down here, but I've also read like you know those wikis and they have like those maps i've read that they can't they can only spawn in those areas so i don't know i can always just go back out on the wyvern right and redo it And what difference does it make? I think tomorrow I'll go back to just wiping things and... I mean, if I just don't get something somewhat soon, I'm... Maybe gonna try a different map normal mode, or I might try like a no-tame thing, like a hardcore no-tame survive boy thing. Maybe another game or something, I don't know, No Man's Sky looking kinda fresh. Uh... What, seven days to die might be kind of neat although i don't think that really has any end you know there's like a lot of shit out there that would probably be time better spent than flying in circles basically obviously i could just spawn in gigas kill them for the heart or probably just spawn in the heart or I can spawn in like two really low tier gigas and breed them. You play seven days at them with Undead Legacy mod? Ooh, we. I I've long wanted to play it, but I always felt like it wouldn't be that great solo. So I've just never done it. I think maybe like six months ago it went on sale for like really cheap, like ten bucks or something, and I just picked it up. Like, fuck it. I've always kind of wanted this. You know, I'm just... Someday I'll try it. Um, because, like I said, it... It looked a lot like it was probably best played with other people. But also, I really enjoy Arc Solo. Kind of because I was forced to with how public servers are. But also because... Like, that survival aspect is kind of what addicted to me. So, uh, you know, playing that game as, like, a survival hardcore e-boy thing might be kind of interesting. 
Original seven days is okay -ish alone. Oh shit. Ain't gonna be the experience, huh? Okay. I'm gonna go place this down on the other build so that I can come back. Put it on the roof, maybe. Nah, they'll just leave the roof kind of clean. Actually, I might have to. Always fun to play with others. Oh, I like jump pads. Well, the Undead Legacy mod. It's fun, but you have to enjoy playing the grindy way. Everything takes a lot longer. Oh, no. I don't know if I got that in me. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's good enough. Whew, wing. I probably would play, like, my first time no mods. I don't know, maybe I should do, like, my next map with some mods. Like, my next normal map. Like, unless I'm doing a hardcore challenge, like I said, without, like, dinos. Because it's like, what else can I do to make it kind of spicy? It's, you know, new, different. Sand? Who the fuck grows their shit in sand? Does this do anything for me? Oh, I can't even use it. I don't have tech gen. Uh, oh, you know what? Uh, what is it called? Um, vehicles, maybe? No, that's the enforcer. Okay, the droney boy? Mac? Drone, here it is. Okay, I can make a drone. This is one of those other things that... Wait, did it not get made? I think I... I accidentally pressed it. My bad. It lagged and I didn't think I pressed. Oh, it did make it. Oh, my bad. Oh, I need element dust, huh? Oh my god, it's so laggy. So it's it's literally just a drone, and uh, you can only go so far from your creature, or from your thing. What if you make a mech? I can't. I don't have the recipe, otherwise I would. Uh, let's see if I can maybe go over here. This might be too far, but you can, like, tag things. So it's kind of like useful if you're on a team because then they can see what you're tagging. Can I take this underwater? Oh shit. And it disconnected. 
Oh no. What did I just whistle? Yeah, so the mech, the tech mech. Um, where is that? Maybe if I do that. There it is. Oh, wait, I can learn that. Hold up, maybe I can make this. I need some fucking crystal. Okay, let me go get some crystal. It might be fun to use something interesting for a little while. Son of a bitch. I don't think I have any spare crystal here. So I'll probably have to go get some. Which isn't the end of the world, but... Mildly inconvenient. 40... Oh, shit. Okay. I don't have to go get any. Wait, what mech... What mech requires the kill of it? Or, yeah, what, doesn't one of them require the... A boss kill? Yeah, a little more. What a treat. Thanks for, thanks for recommending. I probably would have continued to consider it unmakeable. Maybe I'll go through and look at, like, the end of the list, like the end of the levels, just to see if there's anything. It's not my third day of being a freshman. School's in sesh, huh? Is it neat? Okay, what do I need for this thing? I'm guessing element. Oh, fuck. Um. It's fucking huge, what? How is high school, man? I did not expect it to be that fucking massive. Module, huh? It's kind of boring. Classic. Oh. This modus saddle. Let's go ahead and scroll all the way down to like end game here. What am I what am I missing? MDSM. The shield module, okay. Blurm. I'm going to guess maybe rocket launchers. Really expensive to make that. Oh, you know what? Maybe the pistol. God damn, everything's so pricey. Okay. Is this Pacific Rim? Oh, I already have a gun. It's so strong. Do I put this in it for fuel? Autobots roll out. What the fuck is this? I can shoot cannons, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think I need the cannon module, right? So I'm guessing the stamina, uh, maybe it's normal fuel. The shots break Brock. Bro, I saved your life. Let me kill you. 
Okay, yeah, it uses tech as fuel, no problem. Maybe I'll just fly around looking for the Giga on this. He's on the phone coming back and he plays Ark Mech Warrior. Mech Warrior 5. No, you can make a bigger mech, but you need like four mechs or something. I can play Power Rangers? Did it take fall damage? This thing is nuts. What a fucking experience. What happens if the heat reaches max? Wait, can I even walk in this game? <laughs> what is this? Honestly, it has really good weight. This might be really good for gathering resources. I kind of want to know what happens if you go underwater. I can check. I'll check in a minute. Once I'm out of this cave. Nothing, I would assume. I mean, I'm kind of assuming nothing, too. Like, I guess maybe you could drown. Okay, things can kind of get all up under you. I can see that being a problem. I feed it food, does it do anything? No. What about that? Okay. Kinda curious if like a Carquino wait, can I charge its battery here? Huh. Get shot, fool. Whipped out my gat. Can I take this into the boss fight or is that scuffed? Oh wow. I think that's maximum efficiency harvesting polymer. Is this fuel at the bottom? Does it need gas? Yes, it uses tech or tech element. I had 59 when I first started using it. All right, let's go take a dip in the water. I'm kind of curious if I have oxygen. I wonder if I can just walk around on the bottom. Honestly, I would get annihilated by Sharky Boys, so I don't think it's something I really want to do. You know what I mean? But it could be interesting if that's something you wanted to get into. It doesn't look like it gets XP like the Enforcer does. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, I can scuff through. Okay, I'm gonna submerge. I should maybe check to see how deep it gets. Not good, not good. That's a little deeper than I'd like. Let me go somewhere else to check. It looks like I can float to the top though.
I was hoping for somewhere where I could maybe like walk maybe like here go go power ranger this is totally just pacific rim by the way okay no oxygen bar look at that can I shoot All right, it kind of seems like maybe this isn't great. Like they can kind of get up under your feeties and eat your weedies. I forgot about Pacific Rim. It's kind of neat. I mean, does it belong in this game? Probably not, but it's like neat in a, an end game way. You know what I mean? I wouldn't want this first thing, but at the same time, it's basically useless now. Like, what the fuck do I care? Alright. I might be fucking stupid. I kinda wanna go try it in lava. Must remember these shit movies. <laughs> oh, finally! I can give the bird what it deserves. Son of a bitch still stole from me. Are you fucking kidding me? There we go. Glory to Glorzo. Why do I like stall? Okay. There we go. Okay. So first off, normally I overheat. Okay, I start overheating anyway. Kind of makes me think I maybe shouldn't test this. Oh, <gasps> wait. I can actually lure these out. One of the rare occasions where I found the second part better than the first was still a shit. Laughed about the whole thing. Oh, you know, I was about to say, I know there's a second one, but I never watched it because like the first one was okay. Like, you, you know how like a movie can be not really good, but it's like, okay, because you know, it, like, maybe I wouldn't give it an award, but it was, like, an hour of entertainment, or two hours. You need four mechs plus a momi for a mega mech. Alright, what the fuck is a momi? Is it this thing? Maybe it's that thing. Alright, this is about to be dumb. I don't think I took any damage there. I think the mech did, but I didn't. The girl was cute and her mech was also cute. Total ripoff, but who cares?
Will this do anything without me in it? Can I set like five of these loose on the world? Or is that fucked? Wait. Oh, I shouldn't risk it because it, I would get one shot, but I'm wondering if I can k uh, kill Magmasaurus from a distance using this. No Gigas here. Classic. How come I can't shoot? What am I missing? Alright, let's try and lure out this. This actually might help because I've been thinking that the high tier like predators have been preventing what I want from spawning. Like all the basilisks. So if I can kill a basilisk. Okay, did I take damage from that as a player? I don't think I did. Maybe a Chinese version works only half the time. Yeah, I get this shit on a wish. Is that okay? Bonk. Interesting that I'm taking heat damage here. Did my otter die? My otter died. Or no, it fell off. How did my otter fall off? Huh. Okay. So you need a cannon to use the cannon, which makes sense. Clever. Who would have guessed, right? Oh, uh, you don't get to gather from from the barrel boys. Okay. I think I'm gonna head home just because I don't know what else to do right now. But this is pretty cool. It kind of is dying, though. It does seem to heal over time, which is nice. Wait. You kind of can take a lot of damage quick because they get like get up under your toesies. Like you really got to go ahead and kill whatever. That's an alpha. I'm going to see if I can't kill it from here. Teenage Mutant Triceratops. Can't seem to shoot. Huh. 
Huh. Oh, you know what it is? It gets to like a certain fuel amount and chooses not to shoot at some point. Actually, no, I think it's overheating. Because uh, I think I was just low on fuel. Yeah, I think there's just a cooldown, actually. My bad. Oh, I killed it. I'm gonna try and make my way over to here. Mostly because I don't want to risk getting swarmed by sharks. How do I keep, like, not moving? I, like, can't accelerate. You'd think I'd cool down faster in water, right? And that's how water do. That's why they call it water cooling, isn't it? Megalodon. I think what's happening is I'm like, oh fuck, don't want to be down there. Um, okay, I'm like lagging and it's like stopping my momentum. Probably don't want to fight this. Coward. Face me, coward. Down to the rift. You need to close the rift. I think if I fell down there, I would never be able to get back up. The heat doesn't seem to go down very well, and like the momentum just isn't kept. Can't shoot. It's pretty interesting. What if you started with this and a tech replicator and only played the game with this? Could you survive? Probably pretty easily. Well, then again, how would you get element? Maybe I'll use this for my giga checks uh, tomorrow or something, just to like change it up. Although this one's almost dead, maybe I'll make another one because I'll eventually maybe want four. So I'll make like multiple so I can, you know what I mean? Switch between them until I make the mega mech. So if I just sit still for a sec, do we get our stamina amina back? Kind of eats through the element fast, though. Like, I was just dicking around and I used, like, 30 element. Oh, I think these rocks respawned. So can I, like, go into its inventory? I can't. I'm going to leave that in it for now. I'm going to take this out, though. There has to be a way to heal. You know what? I wonder if I can snowl it.
I don't know where I left my snow owl. Kind of thought it was like right here. Oh, there it is. It's just to see a fucking. Never mind. That's my wolf. Where? There it is. Okay. I love it. You could use pig to heal. I mean, it seems to heal over time. So, like, it's not that bad. I wonder if I can take it into a different realm. Oh, wait a second. No, uh, that boss is probably too strong. Like, one-on-one -on -one wouldn't stand a chance with only 14k health, unless I had more than one, but you could maybe fight Steinborn with that if you were doing stuff. You wouldn't be able to cheese them. You'd have to, like, keep putting fresh ones down mid-fight. I'm kind of curious if I die inside, like, if it dies, if that makes sense. Okay, so can I make another mech? No, I need a lot more metal shit. I need a lot of stuff. Oh well. Oh boy. Well, I have nothing else to do, so I might gather stuff to make more mechs and maybe like some of the other stuff. The Black Pearl is going to be my biggest challenge just because there's so much shit down there. But maybe I'll take a mech down there and try and snipe some Magmasaurs or something. I don't know. But, um, I mean, it's just mess around with tech stuff unless I find a giga so while I'm looking for a giga I might as well how come I can't throw this there we go we might as well try and have some fun with it anyway I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream now thanks for being here thanks for chilling hope to see you next on all that good shit follow me on your twitter you know how these things go uh have a fantastic night thanks for thanks for stopping by it was nice to see you everyone again um, this thing's pretty cool. Thanks for, I guess, uh, not really reminding me, telling me about it. I thought the mech was something else, I guess, um, that that you got later. I thought it was, I thought it was this, uh, and I just didn't realize there were two different versions. But have a fantastic night. Thanks for being here. Thanks for chilling. Hope to see you next one. And until then, um, Buddy would say hi, but he's a fucking robot. Also, here's a fucking thumbs up. I'm out. Bye.